Hello community! Today we're going to talk about in painting. Changing, for example, persons in a picture. And we do this with stable diffusion and hugging face diffuser. So we need a GPU. Yes, great. We reconnect. Hi Ram, yep, go for it. We download everything that we need. The diffuser dot six, the transformers gradio. Everything we need. Beautiful. This is gonna take some time. Then we have the notebook login. Yes, and then we go here. Let's see the login. Yes, we download everything we need. Yes, successfully installed diffuser. Beautiful. Now for the notebook login. Yep. Now with my new token, where I have clicked that I accept stable diffusion in painting. Oh my goodness, I'm in the wrong model. Oh my goodness, now I can see clearly now that the rain has gone. So, what we do for Bidden for Earl, a runaway stable diffusion resolve. Access is restricted, you're not authorized. Visit. Hugging face in painting. Ah, clunk. Yes, we visit this and we ask for access. Please, you need to share to agree your contact information. And I have to accept the conditions. Conditions are, you cannot use this model to deliberately produce nor share illegal harmful outputs, of course. No rights of you generate, you are free to use them, but you are accountable. You may redistribute weights and use the model for commercial Please we have the same restriction. Yes, yes, yes. So I say, okay, I agree. Beautiful. Now I have agreed to this. Now let's see if I can finally run this. And, and yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good. Also use authentication token for this particular hugging face puff. Accepted. Jesus. Those are the little tricks you have to know, otherwise you think, my good, why is it? But at least, hey, we got an error message that told us, hey, you have no right to access this file. So, but now, now the fun starts. Yeah, two gigabyte here for the library, yes, yes, yes. So what we do is we just import two pictures, this is all. We have an image and we have a mask of the image where the person or whatever, let's have a look. This is provided from the official notebook is. So we just mask some person, you know, this is easy. We resize the picture to 512, 512. We resize the mask to 512. And then the fun starts, then the fun starts. But at first we have to download everything. We are still downloading, my goodness. Come on. Hello, internet, welcome. Would you be inclined to connect me to the rest of the world? Thank you. But I think we can say, okay. So we just download the image. This is it. Then we resize the image and resize the mask. Show you the image, show you the mask. This is just what you, it's masking technology, you know, from, from Photoshop. Oh, so this is our image, 512, 512. And we mask out the dog and we want to have a substitute for the dog. And there is then the mask and the mask is a black and white mask. So you see, you just in Photoshop or in, in how is it called, GIMP or in Affinity Photo or whatever you take, you just uh, mask out the dog and you create a mask and this is it. You make black and white and great. And if you ever wondered how to do the mask, here we are, we in Affinity Photo. I have here exactly the same picture, 512 pixels, I'm 512 pixels. We're gonna take here our selection tools and carefully, carefully we follow along so that we can really get all of the dark. Yes, a little ears, yes, uh, over there a little bit, yes. And then the body, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then we say add, and then we put here missing pieces we include them yeah it's just a, a rough guideline you don't have to be absolutely perfect you uh, create a mask you have a mask layer 
and then you just say Alt, you click on the mask, and here is, yeah, then you deselect the layer, select, deselect everything. And here you are, here you have your photo, now this you can download, and here you created a mask for your object. It is as easy as this, because we do have image segmentation, but verbal image segmentation, so that you can say, hey, take the dog out of the picture, is not implemented yet, but maybe it will come. So now the next thing is our text prompt and what we want to have in this picture. Because now we have a picture with a masked out, we want a mechatronic robot sitting on a bench. The number of sample is three, the number guidance scale, okay, I think they know what they do. We have a pipeline, we have the prompt, we have the image, we have the image mask. We have the guidance scale is 7.5, the generator is clear, and the number of samples is 3. And let's have a look at this. This might take a little bit of time. Do we have any problem with our resources? No, nothing. Everything is fine, beautiful. Everything, ah, GPU RAM is crawling up a little bit. Just 20 seconds. My goodness. Oh, yeah, see. We have no iteration steps defined, so whatever is default. So let's have a look how good it is. Let's have a look. Come on, baby. Yes, done. Show me. Show us. RAM, fine. No problem at all. Forget about RAM. Yes, this is it. This is our result. Look, isn't that beautiful? We take a picture with a person or a dog, which is a person in my opinion, okay? And then we just have to define the mask. We mask out the dog so that the system knows exactly what it has to reposition and it puts in a little mechatronic robot sitting on a bench. But look at the details. It's so cute. Hey, isn't that cool? I like it. Yeah, and then you can build a Gradio demo I have two, three videos on Gradios, so no problem. Play around if you want. But what happens if we put an alien sitting on a bench? Now, this is something interesting. Because we have here the mask for the dog. Should work out fine. Takes a little bit of time. But I think this is it. So let's see. We have number of samples is three, so we should have three tries on this. Of course, as you can see, we are really low in the resolution because it's done already in 30 seconds. Three pictures. So now comes the moment. Any second now? <laughs> My goodness. Okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> okay, now, I hope you enjoyed it a little bit. This was fun in painting with stable diffusion, as you can see, very easy. You can do it yourself. You provide the picture, you provide the, the black and white mask, and you can have fun with whoever you want to send a Christmas card or birthday card to. Let's give them a surprise. I <laughs> say thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.